Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to capture your running virtual machine to an image on Azure. This process is also known as virtual machine generalization. And why you want to do this is let's say you have a lot of configurations on one of your virtual machines. Um, let's say you have installed web servers or any other FTP server or something like that and you want to reuse it. You can create an image from that virtual machine and you can use it whenever you want to create a new virtual machine. So let's get started and create a new virtual machine on Azure. And before that, I'm going to create a resource group. So let me copy all these commands here and execute this on my uh, PowerShell. All right, my virtual machine is ready on Azure. Now let me RDP into it. I'm going to copy the IP address. You can do it on the portal as well, but I'm not going to do it now. All right, I have successfully logged into the virtual machine that we have just created. Now let me install IIS in this virtual machine. All right, the installation is complete. Now let me close this and go into IIS section and I'm going into IIS manager and I'm going to change that HTML page so that we can identify our web server easily. So I'm going to add this message to IIS. So let me close this and close everything here. The next thing that we should do is we should run sysprep utility to prepare the virtual machine for capturing or generalization. So for that, I'm going into this PC and C drive and Windows folder. And after that, system32 and then sysprep. Here, you'll find a exe file, an application that will prepare your virtual machine. Here, you have to click generalize. And at the end of this process, your system is ready to be generalized, meaning that it will remove all the user data and user specific information and things like that from your virtual machine. And after that, you cannot run this virtual machine. So I'm going to click OK now. This will take a couple of minutes and after that you can go to Azure portal and capture this virtual machine. Let's wait until this RDP connection gets disconnected. All right, as you can see, I just got disconnected. Now I'm going into Azure portal and I'm going to click refresh here. As you can see, we have our resource group and then I'm going into the virtual machine and then I'm going to click stop. To stop the virtual machine all right now we are ready to capture this virtual machine now let me go back to this page and click capture here and there are a few things that you can um, change the resource group i want the image inside of this resource group that we have created for the virtual machine and all that i'm going to keep as default this vm name is okay for me and then i'm going to click review and create all right as you can see we have created our image from the virtual machine. Now let me click on this button to go to that image. And this image is deployed on the resource group that we have specified earlier. And you will be able to find it if you go to this resource group as well. As you can see, we have the image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the other resources in this resource group. Now let me go into this image. And as you can see, we have an option here to create a virtual machine from this image. So I'm going to click on it and the resource group, I'm going to keep it as it is and virtual machine name. Let me call it um, app server from image, something like that. As you can see, the region is disabled and that is because we have selected this image. This virtual machine image is only available in that region of Azure because that's something that we have just created, right? And because of that, this is the only option that we have when it comes to regions. And also availability options, I'm not going to do any changes here. This I'm going to keep as it is. Let me add a name and a password. All right, now I'm going to change inbound ports. I'm going to enable HTTP because we have deployed IIS in this virtual machine. We want to see how that works. And when it comes to licensing, I'm just going to enable this. And then I'm not going to do any other changes 
in these tabs i'm just going to review and create the virtual machine all right the validation is passed let me click create as you can see the deployment is completed now let me click on go to resource we have a new virtual machine now i'm going to copy this ip address here and i'm going to new tab and let me paste it as you can see i'm getting this message Today we learned how to generalize your virtual machine and create a new virtual machine from that generalized image. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. And if you want to be updated with my future videos, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.